All right, guys, back for another video today. So it is freezing cold outside, okay, guys? It's freezing cold outside. It's just not really possible, really, to do a lot of the bow content that I would like to do. Um, so I mean, losing arrows in the snow, if you ever lost arrows in the snow, yeah, you're going to have to wait till spring, late spring to find them, okay? Middle spring, late spring. You don't want to be losing arrows, right? Those things are expensive. So we can do some indoor training. Um, and talk about a few things that, um, that I have learned over the past, right? So I actually had gotten into a, a bit of a discussion, a bit of an argument discussion, uh, with a, uh, a very good YouTuber out there, new sensei, he actually responded to one of my videos, um, a while ago, not calling him out. It was just a discussion. And, uh, we we're talking, discussing about how, if you can strike with a bow, he had a video in the past about bows used as melee weapons, right? Um, can they be used as melee weapons? He doesn't think so. I absolutely think so. Uh, once again, my channel is more unconventional style of channel. So therefore I'm not, um, I'm not doing the typical things that people will typically do. Like shooting a bow, clearing rooms, shooting a bow into a room, sh shooting a bow from the bottom of the stairs to the top of the stairs or shooting opening a door, pulling back, and hitting the target in a room. Uh, he says that stuff would never be effective um, in real life. I mean, maybe not. Um, but they've used bows for, what, thousands of years? Different styles of bows. We don't 100% know everything that was done um, back in the day, right? If they ever used... In thousands of years, no one's ever gone into a room and shot, used a bow. I think this probably has happened. Um, someone like him would say, no, it hasn't. Now, um, I've seen a lot of his content, once again. He doesn't do anything but archery, I think. I think he just does archery, which is, hey, it's awesome. It's amazing. He doesn't do any kind of boxing or training or striking any martial arts at all and martial arts it's very very simple right strike your opponent right strike your opponent uh it's simple as that right so i'm not sure really what the difference between this right and this or even if i had to throw a forward strike right it's just the bow happens to be in my hand at the time, right? Now you're gonna say, well, why do you have a bow in your hand to begin with? Well, if you are in a situation where you did have a bow and that's all you had, right? You don't have a gun. Some people say, oh, well then just buy a gun. Well, then that's that whole thing of, well then just buy uh, uh, a fully automatic, or buy this. You can keep raising the standard, right? Um, in a situation where I had a bow, um, I would probably be using my bow, right? So, if I was to, you know, shoot, boom, hit a target, or if I'm coming down a hall and someone is happened to be in the house and they're moving around and they have a knife or a gun, and I'm able to get arrows off, right? I may actually, in its close quarters, I may actually have to, like, I may not have time to drop my bow. This is just like, a, like someone's coming around the corner, and I might actually have to, like, you know, strike with my bow, right? Um, he, he doesn't think that is possible. A lot of people say, well, historically speaking, it's not. What What does history have to do? I mean, history has a little bit to do, right? But with my bow, this is 2024. Um, should I be worried about 1737 if they were striking with bows or not? No, that doesn't matter. The, the thing that matters right now is that in my hand right now, intruder, right? He may have something and I might have to Engage him with my bow. I'm not worried about the life of my bow. Right now, I'm worried about surviving a situation where I actually might have to strike someone with my bow, right? And you can actually really hurt someone um, with this thing. It's just another piece of wood after it. At that point, right, it's no longer you're engaging the target. Now, you're actually having to, like, to strike someone, right, with it. So... I think it's very, very possible. And someone who actually does typically train, right, 
with with a Someone who, who trains, and he said that it doesn't move, right? He said, well, it's a target that doesn't move. Well, it's obviously it moving. Um, you may say, well, use a giant bag that hangs from the ceiling. Well, sure, but no one's built like that, typically. And this works on your precision, because if you're, mit you're, you're not able to hit your target, right, you're missing, or as it's coming back, you you can't, you need to know how to hit your target exactly wherever it's coming. And step out of the way, right? Step out of the way. Right? Do different kinds of methods out there. So doing different things, right, to get yourself out there, training. Stuff takes time. Stuff takes, you know, a bit of training to do. And if you're not a person who used to striking things or people or whatever it is or going to the gym, you guys will see my videos at the gym of me hitting a bag, right? Hitting the bag, hitting the bag. Maybe someone like him doesn't typically do that. So he would say, well, you can't strike with a bow. It just, it's too flimsy or it doesn't really make a lot of sense. You can't really test it. Um, he was making some statements that just didn't really make a lot of sense. Even when it comes to shooting a bow in a room, he said, well, you gotta use soft tips. That's not realistic training. If you're talking about re using realistic training, using soft tips isn't gonna work. The only way to actually test if a bow works, penetration power, all that stuff, Works is actually using it on a live human being. You can't do that. You know, someone said you sign someone signed waivers and they're gonna get awarded a million dollars at the end of that. I don't want to be shot with a bow. And even if there's a team, a medical team on standby to assist with someone who gets shot, and you just an arrow with a freaking broadhead that does this it will just blurry all your or no. You can't do that, right? You can't do that. This isn't like those uh, sim sim uh, uh, the sim rounds that people use in a, in a clearinghouse, right? So you have to kind of trust whatever you have will actually work, right? What is the pound of your bow, right? If it's you know 40, 50 pounds, you could put you can you can do some pretty good damage, right? And if you're not used to using or striking, right? Like him, he probably has never used. A bow staff before. He does. He's never used probably one. I mean, at least he's never posted any comments or content on using a bow staff. But this thing and this thing can both be used as melee weapons. I'm sorry, people out there are saying, "Oh, I just don't see how that makes any sense that you'd use a bow for a melee weapon." If I was in a situation, once again, train for every situation. Every situation possible, train, right? Train. I train all the time. And moving. I can even do it in my house without hitting my ceiling. So, training, a stick is a stick. This will become a stick if necessary, right? Um, same thing with my screamer sticks, right? It's a, it's a stick. It's a stick. It's a stick. And some people say, well, it's not that hard to train. Well, then how come you don't train? How come you don't do it? You may say, oh, it's easy. Just train off. I can hit anything with a stick. Sure. Until you do. Until you have to. When I first bought this thing, I could hardly hit. I was like, man, I gotta wait for the bag to come back? Like, what? Because I was so used to doing this. And that you have to wait for an opponent to come and, and it, to enter your orbit to actually get hit, okay? 
So I appreciated the dialogue with the guy. It was great. But once again, in my opinion, and from what he was saying, is that he doesn't have any experience striking, whether with his, his hands or his fist, or with any kind of weaponry, right? I also use knives. I train with knives as well, right? Different methods on how to use the knives, right? So if you train with something, you can use just about anything as a weapon. I know they put in the movie, Jason Bourne movie, where he usually picks up a, what, a magazine. He's beating the crap out of the guy with the magazine. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I've never seen anyone do that. Uh, I guess someone with a knife, I guess it's better than nothing. It's better than using your hands. At least the magazine would have more effect than your hands getting caught with a knife right through your hand, right? Because you're trying to block it. Um, so I would say train for every scenario out there, right? If I'm in a situation where I have my bow and I'm having to engage one and I'm like, well, this isn't really a weapon. So I'm going to have to drop this on the ground and engage with my hands. Well, while I'm engaged with my hands, I think it's actually almost better to use this. Why? Because hands and fingers can be broken, right? When I was hitting the bags at the gym, there's plenty of times where I like, there's some times where you miss, and if you miss, you can sprain your wrist. There's times where I'm like, my wrist really hurt it afterwards, right? Um, you may say, well, wrap your hands. Well, in a real life, realistic scenario, you can't be like, hey, bro, wait, 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 let me wrap my hands really quick. Uh, let me wrap my hands. All right, let's engage. No. You, in the moment, you got to do what you got to do in the moment, right? And in the moment, I happen to have my bow in my hand, right? And I think it's better to use this, depending upon the environment that I'm in, if I'm in a very narrow hallway, right? Um, I'm just trying to ward this person off, right? This is, this right here is longer, the reach, well, let me stay closer long as reach is longer than my hand and I can actually extend that out pretty far not the best thing to use obviously but me getting my hands broke or someone grabbing me because the closer I am to them the more in danger I am so using a melee weapon using my bow as a melee weapon may actually come in handy right it actually may come in handy if I need to strike someone, right? Or hit somebody, right? So it's all about using what you have. What you have. You may not have a knife, you may not have a gun, you may not have whatever you need at the time that's considered a classic weapon, like a knife or a gun. I might actually have my bow. And this channel just explores that. Um, using a bow in a more unconventional situation that is not just hunting or target shooting. Typically what it's used for. This channel is more towards self-defense with a bow because there's not channels out there that are doing self-defense with a bow. So maybe in the springtime, I'm not even sure really when. I would like to do more bow content. I've done plenty of bow. You guys can go back and look at all my bow videos. I'm a pretty good shot. Um, so you guys can go back and look at those videos. But at this point right now, out in the freezing weather, it's like six degrees outside, do I really want to be just hanging out? I have, I do, but it's very painful on my fingers, okay? I have frost nip. <laughs> this is say my left hand as a kid got injured in a snow environment. It's, I was out there for a while and my hands have never been the same since being a child. So I don't really spend as much time out there, but I do go out there, but that's just my video for response to new sensei because hey i like his content i've learned a lot of stuff from his from him shooting uh, a bow wise and learning how to shoot and the different technique and and stuff like that love his content when it comes to bows when it comes to like striking when you have no experience talking about strike you know you have no experience talking about striking then then how could you talk about bows as a melee weapon if you've never done any kind of striking really whatsoever. He doesn't seem like the type that does it, unfortunately. Maybe he does, but he's never posted any content or any proof that he knows exactly what he's talking about when it comes to bows 
in a melee environment. It just doesn't make much sense. If you don't know how to even throw, you know, a jab, right? Or throw a cross or throw, you know, a hook or anything like that, right? Or throw a, a, a gazelle, right? Where you're leaping forward and you're getting that, that hook in there or you're doing some kind of a, uh, uh, like a check hook, you know, like a check hook type of strike, right? Where you're, you're, uh, you're stepping out of the way and you're throwing that, that hook in there right over the top. If you don't know anything about that, you can't really talk about that. And if you know anything about melee and striking, you can't say, well, using a bow as a melee weapon makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. You absolutely can. You, you can either strike with your this, or if they're in a little closer, I could actually throw a classic jab and then come in, right? It's the same thing. It's the same concept, right? It's the same concept. But where I'm like throwing it, and I'm throwing it. So that's all I got for you guys today. So hopefully you guys learned something. That's all I got about the melee stuff. So I'll see you guys.